I'm from South Africa, living in Johannesburg at the moment. But you're from a different part of South Africa? I was born in Pretoria. Grew up in Pretoria and moved to, to Johannesburg after university. What's the history of South African Jewry helping in the uh, Israeli uh, battle for independence? Well, I mean, we don't have a big Jewish community. We never did then and today we don't. We're about 60,000 odd. Um, in Israel's War of Independence, they called for volunteers and from all over the world, about 3,500 volunteers came. And of the 3,500, 804 were from South Africa. So in comparison to the size of our community, we were second to America. It was a huge contribution. Now these were your, what, your grandparents' uh, generation? Yes, my grandparents' generation. I mean, Israel being 64 years, they were some, most people, had volunteer, most people that volunteered had World War II experience. So they ranged between the age of 22, 24. That was the average age of, volu of a volunteer. And what sort of legacy does it leave in the current generation? What awareness is there in, in the current generation uh, one of the huge motivators for making the movie was that I don't believe my generation knew about South African 804 and the contribution that they did do in Israel's War of Independence. So there was a huge motivator to try to get the story out there. And today, once you know we've screened the movie, I mean, it's a great achievement that our small South African community did. Our Bobas and Zaders were average people that did unbelievably and extraordinary things, yeah. Average people doing heroic things. What lessons are there for today? I think it's a question when you ask what, you know, when you think back to 48 and you think about what our grandparents did and you sit back and say like, wow, they actually had a, they played a part in Israel being an existing state today and you wonder what we've done and what we can do. And perhaps as someone said, you know, in the movie that, Israel today has one of the best armies and to come and fight is maybe not what we can do but to be utterly committed in perhaps the politi political propaganda war is perhaps where we can play a part and you know financially contribute where we can.